Hello, today I'm going to show you how to burn flag music on CD on your Mac. As you know, iTunes does not support playing and detecting flag music out of the box, so we must find another solution. Why should we do this? One reason may be that we prefer to play our music from digital files, or maybe once in the past we've made a backup and our CD was damaged, so we want another copy. So, short look into web, we find Fluke for Mac. But as you see more closely, development of this program is, is already gone and last supported iTunes versions is uh, 10.6.1. Even on Snow Leopard I use 10.7 iTunes, but now I'm on Mountain Lion, so this is no way to go. So the solution is to use another tool to convert flag to Apple Useless Audio Codec called ALAC. And for that purpose we will need another tool called XLD. This very little tool is great, uh, however it may seem a bit uh, counterintuitive and odd because we got a Mac application without graphical user interface. But do not worry, it's relatively simple to use. Okay, short look into preferences option. It's not so much. Then we should choose output format Apple useless. As you see, we have as other choices. And I would stay with the same directory as input file. We will do something with this later. It's important to preserve Unicode UTF-8 uh, char set for your all, all title author information. And for now we stay with default renaming. Uh, for purpose I will tell later. And I think uh, you may safely remain all other option as is. You will do any harm. Okay, how this look in practice? Last night I watched uh, Maltani's Falcon movie, so I decided to choose as an example music to hold some reference for that movie John and Vangelis The Friends of Mr. Cairo from 1981 uh, We have our directory, as you see there are flag files so we must do a conversion This is in fact pretty simple We just select the files and drag and drop to the icon I have only two core uh, CPUs, so I can convert only two files at once. Uh, my laptop is already five years old, but still can handle uh, such conversion very well. I regret not having Mac Pro. In that case, I could convert a whole album probably in a matter of seconds or even faster. We must wait a bit. As you see on the screen, the result file uh, are a little bigger. It shouldn't happen uh, because this is a loseless conversion. However, my theory is that this M4A um, extension gives a bit of additional data because it's basically something like uh, M4A container uh, that includes uh, ALAC file. So probably some other data must be included. Okay, we've done our conversion. So what to do now? Uh, as you see, uh, we have the same name as the source, which is not always the case, but to avoid uh, mess with names and uh, do 
some cleaning to our library we will use another very handy tool mm, the tool I've told you about my previous uh, automatic episode this is called uh, micro brains picard picard is a fantastic and very simple tool to use let's start it in a moment mm -hmm. okay so basically all we have to do is select our m48 files and drag and drop them to the middle screen of the app so as you see the album is now correctly recognized maybe without cover art but it can happen so what should we do okay we should save them to the new location and we will see how this work oh, okay i have a bit mess with windows okay and now you see it's already done okay we have our itunes already i will delete some trash and left over so we need to add this to the library and let we see it have some time to properly copy it okay we see on the process everything is this time detected and itunes will not deny us to playback music in alac format so all we have to do we create a new list and if we have a list we can burn it on cd and this is it bye